Now I'm going to show you a really cool MIDI device called Scale. Now it's important to drop your scale in the right place in the chain. Usually for me, it's the last thing before the instrument because the whole point of the scale is to ensure that all the musical notes remain diatonic or in scale. So if I have it earlier in the chain and then something after the scale device is pulling things out of that scale again, then what good is it to have the scale in there at all? Now, there might be some scenarios where that is what you want, and I'll leave that for you to discover and decide. But uh, general rule of thumb for me is the scale goes last. So here's a default scale plugin, and you see a grid of boxes. Some of them are darker gray, representing the black notes on a keyboard. So you've got a column representing incoming notes and rows representing outgoing notes. So this default diagonal line represents a chromatic scale. None of the notes are being changed at all. So if I wanted to make it so that all incoming uh, C sharps only play a C instead, I just click there and we're going for a minor scale here. So let's float those E's down to E sharps and Let's move the Fs, let's leave the Fs where they are. Move the F sharps up to Gs, and so on and so forth. Now, before I finish the rest of the scale, I should report that there's a much easier way to do this, which is to click the Discover Triangle next to the scale device in the browser and look at all these beautiful scales we have. Okay, so for example, here's a C minor, which I was working on already. So if I drop that on there, you can see I was, I was almost there. But what if you want to have a minor scale in another key, like F sharp or A sharp? Well, that's what the bass dial here is for. You can simply scroll up and move through all the different keys, and now we're at A minor. So it's only C minor because the bass was C but the input-output grid is defining it as a minor scale, and a bass is defining what the actual key is. So we're gonna leave it at C for now, and we're going to listen to the chords through it. So when I was adjusting the pitch of the chords before, it didn't sound so hot. But now that we have everything forced through a scale, Let's take a listen to that same attempt again. So I wouldn't go so far as to say that that sounded hot, but uh, everything was staying in key or in tune. So it's a different take on using the chord plugin. We're just playing chords in general. I'll activate the track for MIDI input and... Play any notes on my keyboard and they are going to be forced through that scale. We can also transpose the incoming notes here. which is much the same as using the pitch device. However, it doesn't necessarily remain diatonic. Folding the notes makes it so that notes that are more than six semitones higher than the note that they're being folded from play an octave lower to make it closer to that original note not really audible in most cases. And then we've got another range that we can set here. So we can force notes into the scale only within one octave of C2, the lowest note on the keyboard. So you can selectively apply the scale forcing to specific ranges 
using the lowest note to determine the bottom of the range and the positive range value to determine how many semitones above that lowest note defines the range that you want to scale. Now, having said that, there are a lot of other uses for the scale we're gonna look at with more melodic material. And there's a whole bunch of different scales here worth exploring. So check them out and see what you can do.